Number 8. Consider the 600 newton weight held by two cables shown below. The left hand cable had tension T and makes an angle of theta with the wall. The right hand cable had tension 8, 820 newtons and makes an angle of 30 degrees with the self ceiling. So 8A is what is the tension T in the left hand cable slanted at the angle with respect to the wall. So for this you're going to use the equation the tension 1 of y axis plus the tension of the second tension of the y axis is going to equal the weight which is 600 newtons and so the, the tension for the y axis is equal to 600 minus 820 newtons sine 30 is going to equal 190. So tension of the y-axis is going to be 190. So now tension 1 of the x-axis plus tension 2 of the x-axis is going to equal 0 because it's not moving or it's not swinging and so tension y, one of the x-axis is going to be plus 820 cos 30 which is going to be equal to 0 and so if you do the algebra it's going to be cos 30 and so tension 1 of the x-axis is going to be negative 710.1408 and then here you're just going to find the total tension and you use the Pythagorean theorem and it comes out to 710.1408 squared plus the square of 190 and so your tension comes out to be 735.12 newtons. And now number 9b. Nine 9b nine says, what is the angle theta what the left hand cable makes with respect to the wall? So we're going to find what the angle is here. So to find that, oops, let's just go back. To find that, we're going to use the tangent 190 over 710. And then you're going to use the inverse tan, and you're going to get that the theta is going to be 14.978 theta. And since the angle is at a 90 degree angle, I mean a 190, then you're going to subtract it by 90. That gonna, and that's going to give you that the angle there is 75.02.